So we welcome our next speaker, uh, Professor Torpe. We'll wait for five minutes and then start. We welcome uh, Professor Tarpe. Professor Tarpe is now using uh, CoLab. Professor Tarpe, you may use CoLab as well as online compiler. Okay. It is, I think, better to use uh, online compiler. I think it would be better to use online compiler, but uh, let us uh, decide. Okay. Let me start now. Let me start now. Professor Therapy, you may start. Hello. Yes. Uh, hello, sir. Audible, yes, audible. Both sir, I am audible. Yes, audible, yes, audible. Hello. Yeah, yeah, you are audible. You can start. Yes. Hello. Yes, you are audible. Yes. I can hear. Yes. You can start. Hello. Uh, yes, you can start. Hello. You can start, yes. Hello. You can start, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, today good afternoon. I'm going to teach you. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to. We are going to learn uh, strings in Python. So, uh, what are the strings? See, uh, a string. Uh, it is nothing but it is. It uh, represents a group of characters. Or, uh, uh, let's take an example. Uh, let's suppose a is equal to. Uh, you can write anything. For example. Uh, let's say JSPM. So a string, it is nothing but a group of characters or elements, uh, or we can say a substring, which uh, from which we can make a string. Okay. So JSPM, this word JSPM, or you can write anything. This word, it is nothing but string, and it is assigned to A. Okay, so whenever we want to, uh, we want this word or string, we can simply uh, print A and we get a particular result. Okay, so always remember the string, it is written in a double quotation. Mm, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It is taking time. Okay, yes. 
uh, string can be written in double quotation also if you want uh, a string also can be written in a single quotation let's suppose my name is atul so we can write we can uh, write in single quotation or a string can be written in uh, three times single quotation also so we are getting the same result okay if you just print here then uh, we are getting the same result c b and this is c so anyway we can write the string either in double quotation in a single quotation or uh, three times single quotation so string have elements as uh, uh, we can see so this is the string okay so we take another example uh, like uh, let's say uh str is equal to str1 or st1 is equal to i am python programmer okay so uh, this whole statement it can also be treated as a string okay so there are different operations uh, while dealing with string or if you want to find the substring or elements uh, we can uh, find the uh, we can use different operation in the string the so if you want to suppose find the length of the string so for that we have length function okay to find the length we use l e n okay so just here see here print then uh, l e n length and just type s p 1 so we are getting the result 22 what does it mean this string i am python python programmer it has 22 elements okay and these elements are included with this space also so in python the space is also considered as a element so if you simply count here i am python programmer you will find that there are 22 elements in the string and suppose uh, if you just write python okay so here we have we can easily count here here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 letters are there so if you just print st2 uh, sorry uh, length st2 then uh, we are getting the result 6 okay so python is having six elements and i am python programmer is having 22 elements including space so the first function is uh, first operator we, we can use it is as length okay so this is a uh, example of how to find the length okay so i am uh, just putting here uh, in whatsapp group so you can practice okay so we have a second function that is concatenation concatenation of string so in concatenation what we have if you want to add two strings uh, let's suppose uh, here i am Uh, let's suppose this one uh, 
एफ टी थ्री इज इक्वल टू आ एम आ एम एंड एफ टी फोर इज इक्वल टू पाइथॉन प्रोग्रामर ओके इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड दिस टू स्ट्रीम वॉट वी कैन डू we can simply let's say uh, add we are we consider third string as st5 and just type s3 st3 plus uh, st4 and just print st5 then we will get this okay i am python programmer okay you just uh, give space here and then again um see this i am and python programmer this we are added so this is nothing but concatenation and uh, we know that strings are immutable what does it mean uh, it means that we cannot change the characters in the string okay so st3 it is uh identify with different id and st4 is also identified with different id so if you uh just print id of st3 then uh, id of st4 then uh, id of st5 then what we will we are getting let's see here the st1 is here uh, it is having this id st4 is having this id and st5 it is having different id so every time we create string it is stored with different id okay even if the class remains same as a str that is string the id will change so this is we call it as a concatenation of string okay so i am uh, putting here what is concatenation of string okay so if you have any uh, problem you can ask uh, okay then we have membership operator okay what is membership operator uh, let's suppose uh, we take example of this uh, sp4 here sp4 is this one so membership operator it is uh, used it is using in operation or or not in okay both these things we can use okay let's see how it is used uh print uh here so if you are uh, want to uh, know if there is any th in python programmer or not let's see th in sp4 so what result i am getting 2 what does it mean this th it is whether it is in string 4 sp4 or not okay we can easily see that this th it is in sp4 so it is giving true value okay so it is just finding the sub strings or character in the string okay and if suppose if you if i uh, just write like this uh, suppose uh, see z in sp4 so what result i am getting false because there is no z in the this string sp4 okay 
so this way we can perform membership operator so uh, this is for your understanding so st4 so in short the membership operator is used just to give the true or false value okay suppose if i write not in okay print z print z not in st4 what does it mean it will give the value true why because it is true that z it is not in string 4 so in python programmer z is not in st4 it is giving the true value so in or not in operator we can use in membership okay so uh, okay so this one is for membership operator now if you want to compare the strings compare comparing the strings so comparison is also possible in uh, string see how we can compare suppose uh, st1 is equal to what we can say toy and uh, st2 if it is equal to let's say boy then uh, if you want to compare both this st1 is equal to st2 if it is true or not so we can simply write if uh st1 two two times equal to okay so for comparison what we do we write two times equals to so st1 is equal to st2 then colon then print uh let's say first case will be both are same okay then or else else print not same so what results we are getting here not same what does it mean toy is not equal to boy okay so with this uh, e e uh, double uh, equal sign we can compare the both the string okay uh, now uh, i i just put in in whatsapp group okay so till here now suppose uh, i think if i want to count the substrings in the string so counting substrings in string so how we can count the substrings in the string what do it mean suppose uh suppose i write st4 is equal to let suppose uh, i love myself and my family and my uh, what we can say uh, my job okay so how counting is work let's see uh for this what we can do print then st4 dot count then what element or what substring we want to access we can write here 
here i am writing my so what result i am getting 3 where where are three i know myself this is one this is second and this is third so counting of subscript we can uh, find the how many times the subscript is uh, present in the main string so this is counting operation yes any problem okay so counting is also possible uh, okay so counting is done now we will move uh, to find uh, let's suppose uh, there are some operation uh see okay uh suppose i take this example again sp4 i know myself my family and my job okay uh, there are some operation like uh, title then uh, upper then lower uh count we have seen uh, then strip these operations we can perform on a string let's see how we can do it print then uh, sp r sorry sp4 then we have to just write the title title and like this okay in case of a title here the main string is i love myself my family and my job here the output we are getting is c every word it has become capital okay and my job everything had has become capital first letter become cap, capital okay so this is title operation uh, now suppose uh, we use how to uh, we, we we will see how we use upper okay so sp4 dot upper then see the results we are getting see in if we use upper then everything in the main string becomes in capital okay i know myself and my family so everything becomes capital okay similarly if you write lower then everything becomes lower case lower see no Uh, some okay okay see i love myself everything become uh, in uh, lower case now okay i just put here in whatsapp group okay uh there is another uh, operation uh, you can say center okay so how we use center so suppose uh okay uh suppose s is equal to india okay s is equal to india in double quotation so if you print it s yes, dot center so what result what result i am getting 
Okay. Uh, center expected at least one argument. Center expected at least one argument. Okay. So for center, uh, we have to uh, give some value. Okay. So see this India. Okay. It is at the start, but now if you give center, uh, use center and give 20, 20, 20 means what? India is having five letters. So seven letters are, or eight letters are here and uh, seven letters are here. So eight plus seven, 15, and these five uh, are, 15. total becomes 20. So we can use the center. Okay, so okay. okay. Till here, uh, is there any problem? All of you are understanding what I'm uh, trying to teach you. Hello. Indexing. Okay. So for indexing, I take example, S is equal to 500. Python class. So for indexing, what is indexing? Indexing, it is nothing but uh, we assign number to every element. So for Python, see. So indexing means what? We give value to every element in the stream. So it always, there are two types of indexing, forward indexing and backward indexing. Forward indexing, it is from left to right and backward indexing, it is from right to left. Okay, in forward index, indexing, uh, what we do? The first letter always starts with zero. Then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, actually, uh, after Python, there is a space. And what I have said that the space is also considered as an element. Okay, so space for space, it is. 7, uh, 6, C, 7, 8, 9, 10, and there is, last one is 11. So, if you want to access a single element or single character in the main string, we can use the indexing operation. We can use the indexing operation. See here, print, yes. Then in uh, we uh, in square bracket, we just write the number, the character we want to access. Let's suppose I want to access character number seven. So I just write seven and see what results I am getting, C. I got the result, C. C is assigned to seven, okay? so. Any character we can access using this indexing. Okay, so let's suppose O. I want to access O. So I just write four here and see the zero. Okay, so I am getting for O there is zero. So this is 
we call it as a index name. So this is this was about forward index name. Similarly, for uh, backward index name, uh, it starts from right to left. So for years, actually here for years there is minus one. Okay, for this years minus two till this p. Okay. so for this p it there will be minus 12 so this way we can access from right to left suppose print s s then in uh, square bracket if you write minus 12 okay. suppose it's minus 12 then what is the time getting p okay this p okay so p can be my uh, add number of minus 12 or uh, p will be at a position of at a position of zero also so zero or minus 12 both are same we are getting same result print zero okay here for zero as well as for minus 12 zero it is for forward indexing and uh, minus 12 it is for backward indexing so indexing operation can also be done using both these methods okay so i am writing here Python indexing. Okay. So after indexing, we move to uh, we will see uh, split operation. Okay. So if you want to split the string, or there is a big string is there with many statements. So if you want to uh, split the string, then it is also possible using the split operation okay so split operation let's see how we can split the letter split the string uh, let's suppose txt is uh, in double quotation uh, hello uh my name name is suppose uh, mahesh i am 26 years old okay if you want to split this big string then see uh, what i can do Let's suppose txt is equal to uh, txt dot split. Then uh, what I am going to do? I want to first uh, see from where I can split. Okay, so here we can see there is a com comma is there. After my there is a comma. So I want to split after comma. Then uh, see the results. I am getting TST. See, okay. So hello, this uh, whole string. Hello, my name is Mahesh. I am twenty six years old. So this hello, it will be splitted. My name is Mahesh. It will be splitted here, and I am twenty six years old. It is splitted. It is just because. After first split, I have considered this comma. So after comma, where where are wherever there are commas, it will be splitted. Suppose here, if I give comma here, my, after my name I give comma, twenty six years old I give comma. So after uh, splitting, what is the time with hello? My name is Mahesh. I am twenty six years, and then finally old. so this is splitting operation of a string
okay done now uh, you can see here the after splitting we are getting in a list we are getting all the substrings in a list and if you want to again get back to the original stream then also it is possible by using join operation okay so for join operation what i am doing see join operation okay uh see for join operation uh uh join operation for join operation uh, let's suppose i want to uh get back this uh string so let's suppose paste test uh, is equal to what for joining operation what we do uh, we use uh, okay string what we do uh, we generally do like this in double quotation we write comma then uh, join okay then stream okay here also I, we I, we are doing the same thing in double quotation comma then what i am doing dot join then which string i want to get back so i want to get back this tst string e s t string so see what is the line getting no result okay join tst and then we print the command test so what is the line getting see wherever there are commas okay so this list it is converted into a original string see this original string we return this original string like this so this is the joining operation okay done so join operation we are doing like this and done uh, next part uh length is done count is done i think the center is done for lower okay uh we have string formatting string formatting so for string formatting we use f string okay so how to use f string let's see suppose uh, uh, we have different strings like uh, let's suppose